Yeah, just take, turn right to 270 and uh, 22 clear for takeoff, 241 Bravo Sierra. Got the go around the featured uh, activated on the autopilot. As I lift off, I'm going to put that uh, yellow chevron up into the uh, magenta chevron. And that's also going to follow my heading when I engage the head on the autopilot. Here we go. You can see the synthetic vision displays the runway and the runway heading. Columbia 1, Bravo Sierra, contact departure. Contact departure, 1, Bravo Sierra. All right, engage the autopilot now. It will continue. Fly 1310 up to 3000, it'll level off there. Some diameter northeast bound. All right, autopilot is capturing 3000 feet. Columbia 241, Bravo Sierra, request RNF 21 Zulu at Georgetown, EPSOC. Columbia 41, Bravo Zulu, uh, Roger, I have your I have a request. As we're traveling along, the synthetic vision active. I do have the highways of the sky 18, 4, active as well, but we don't have and, uh, a current course right heading two uh, zero ahead of us here. Flyzer. And as you can see on the right synthetic vision, we have some uh, grid lines, lines that run north, south, east, west. TVM 700 kilo, number one Bravo here, turn right direct to EPSOC. Direct EPSOC, one Bravo here, thanks. Okay, so I've activated the approach the to EPSOC, there's the highways in the sky, areas, about two miles in diameter north and, and uh, they are citation in front our altitude. Uh, deviating back and forth quite a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the approach button. Legion 861, Legion 861, five miles from Bridal, cleared ILS. All right, five seconds to go, we can turn right. 170 knots, still Bridal. See the glide path is armed. Since it's white, it's armed. Um, so we are going to maintain 3,000 feet till we hit the uh, glide path. Glide path is active. We're below it, which is where we want to be. All right, glide path is active. Okay, there's takeoff flaps, and then I'll pitch this up just a little bit, we'll capture that glide path, and there we go, glide, glide path is captured. I'm just now reducing power a little bit. Alright, so let's take stock here. We are right on our final uh, approach course. Glide path is captured. 11, 000, uh, uh, minimums are engaged on the, uh, I, when I activated the approach, when I loaded the approach, I put the minimums in, so they will go off, we'll hear that in a minute. All right, we're getting a tiny bit fast, but employ the speed brakes here. All right, so you can see the speed brakes are uh, enunciated here. All right, we're doing 13 inches, 2,500 RPM, 104 knots, 105, running right glide path, right on, final approach course. Runway is in sight on the synthetic vision, you can see right there. Uh, it appears about eight miles out, and then you can start to see the details, like the runway numbers, at about two miles out. Okay, we're going to put down our last notch of flaps here. And we're looking for about, about 85 to 90 knots for uh, final. Source on traffic, uh, Columbia 1 Bravo Sierra, about a two mile final for 2 1, low approach only, George Hill. 500. All right, there's our final approach speed. And coming up on minimums, which would be 1150. Minimums. All right, there we are. Around button is depressed. It's not your flaps. And last notch of flaps. Hey, Georgetown traffic, Columbia 1 Bravo Sierra is departing the pattern to the left. Georgetown.